How's it going everybody? Kyle here with Awesome Sauce News. Welcome back to the channel. You're watching part two of my new HTPC video series. Now in part one, I discussed all the components of the build and why I decided to choose those parts. Go ahead and check that video out if you haven't already. And this is part two, which is the build, where I actually do some hands-on work and build the system from the ground up. And uh, I think in the last video I asked you guys what you wanted to see as far as execution for, the, for this video. And it was kind of split right down the middle unanimously. Half of you wanted a time lapse and the other half of you wanted a tutorial. For the purpose of this video I've decided to go with a time lapse, but I will be also providing some commentary on top of it just to give you guys an idea of what worked for me and what didn't uh, throughout the duration of my build. So with that said, that's enough rambling for me, so why don't we get on with it? Alright, so here we go. First step is to install the CPU and memory sticks. No problem there. You know it's going to be a rough build if you have trouble with the CPU and memory installation. Next was just to remove that enclosure off the chassis to get to the innards of the case. Taking off that 3.5 inch drive bay. That's the last you'll see of it because there is no 3.5 inch drive in this system. Remove the optical drive as well, or the optical cage I should say, and the front bezel. First step from here is to remove that stock fan and replace it with one of those gelids. Uh, like I said earlier, no problem with the fan. I, I actually really like the fan that, that, that it comes with. It's just, just a little loud. So in comes the gelid. Came with these little rubber mounts, four rubber mounts, to reduce noise and vibration. And I had a little bit of a rough time getting them through those tiny holes, so I had these pliers that I just pulled them through. Worked pretty well. Voila. Next up was the power supply. Fit like a glove. Just probably the easiest part of this of this build. Just screwed it in. No problem. I put the, the uh, intake fan up top because there's ventilation at the top of the case. And uh, yeah, next is the Samuel 17 CPU heatsink. This thing was a breeze to, to build with, by the way. Just really straight, straightforward, easy instructions. Super simple mounting design. Just these two brackets, one on each side, and there's not even any back plate involved. You just kind of thread those four screws there from the back up top, and it just threads right into the heatsink. As you will soon see, a little bit of thermal paste, making sure not to overdo it. And just a ton of clearance with those ballistic sports dims, man. I'm just like. You can do a backflip under there. I just kept fingering the screws. I don't know why I didn't use a screwdriver sooner. I was like, yeah, I'll just keep screwing them until they stop. And then I eventually got the screwdriver out. So there you go. Back plateless design. And it looks awesome too. Now I need the second gelid. Pretty straightforward. Got four screws. Bolt them straight down. Kind of contain that sleeved cable around as well just to keep it from. Uh, you know, flying around inside the case, getting caught on something. Ooh, pretty. What do I do next? Yeah, of course. Install the motherboard. Now that everything is pretty much good to go as far as all the main components that are installed into it. And uh, the standoffs on the SG05 are pre-installed and you actually can't even remove them, which I like. I don't, can't really think of a reason why you'd need to remove the standoffs. Uh, just four screws, one on each corner. Plugging in that intake fan. Cleaning up my screws and going straight for the modular cables for the power supply. Making all the big connections. Now I could have I could have ins I could have plugged in the front panel connectors first, but uh, I guess the way I saw it was get the big cables out of the way and then the little cables can kind of just thread right through them relatively easily. Could have could have done it either way though. Tried to have that ATX cable go around the fan, like up and over it, so it wasn't blocking it directly. I think I did an okay job. Cable management in a case like this is relatively limited. Oh, song change. Re 
reinstalling the front bezel, get those front panel connectors all connected. Oh, almost forgot the uh, that little tray there, little panel for the optical drive. Yeah, that, that front panel is really easy to just reattach and stuff and take off. It's just a couple of latches, a couple of tabs on, on three of the sides. Super easy. It took me forever to find that HD audio connector. It was actually on the complete opposite side of where the uh, front panel connectors are, kind of by the uh, PCI Express slot. But the cable reached just fine. Any further away though, I, I might have been in trouble. It's kind of hard to see where everything was, like what was labeled. I couldn't see the labels on the front panel connectors right there, so I had to bust out the, the manual. Do a little bit of tidying up the twist tire too. Never a bad idea. And for the SSD, the two and a half inch drive is literally right underneath the optical uh, the optical uh, caddy. It's attached to it. You can't detach it, which is totally fine because I'm gonna need a two and a half inch drive anyway. Slim optical drive. Tiniest little screws for that thing. Kind of scared I was gonna lose one, but I managed. Here's where I realized I don't have a slim SATA power cable. <laughs> I, I totally overlooked that from the start. Uh, just It's been a while since I built with a slim optical drive and I was like, shoot, I can't really use this right now. But uh, luckily, I can just pick one up either at work if one's lying around or just buy one off a new egg for a couple bucks. And uh, it shouldn't be too bad. At least I won't have to uninstall a bunch of components to get to the optical drive and plug it in. That is nice looking there. That does not look nice. It's coming along. We're almost done. Just gotta do that video card. Removing that PCI Express bracket. Getting out that card. Take that plastic wrapper off. Damn you. Now this was kind of tricky. I couldn't really see where I was aiming. Uh, at this point, the case is pretty cramped and I kind of just had to do it by feel. And at one point, you can see I'm pushing the ATX power cable deeper inside the case because it was kind of interfering with the card. That helped a little bit. So I slotted it in and uh, even though it was completely in and mounted correctly, it still was a little misaligned from, from that PCI Express bracket. But uh, I just kind of had to nudge it and then screw it in. Got the PCI Express cable connected. Got to remount that bracket. Look at that. That card looks really just wicked inside this case. Looks like it was meant for it. That's pretty much it. Mounted that enclosure, bolting it down. Oh yeah, presto. All right guys, I am now done with the build. It's completely finished, yay. Uh, with the exception of the slim SATA power cable that I need for the, uh, the slim optical drive. And honestly, I probably should have done a test boot a long time ago, like before I, I don't know, installed everything. Uh, so hopefully this doesn't blow up in my face. This is really the first time I'm booting it up. So wish me luck and uh, let's, hope this, let's hope this works. Oh, we got power. The fans are spinning. The GPU is good. Power supply is good. All right. All right. So look, it's a success. It seems to be running all right. Went through post, and uh, I think all I need to do now is install Windows 7 and just start loading up all of my games and media onto this thing, and 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 then use it. That's that's the end goal, right? So that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this uh, this video guys. A third video I will say is probably just going to be performance, you know, going to give you guys the temperatures and uh, maybe do some gaming benchmarks as well. Let me know if there's anything else you'd want me to do with this system while I have it 
uh, you know, while it's new and fresh. But other than that, I'm I'm gonna go take a shower because I just I've been sitting in in this chair. This is my setup. I'm sitting in this chair, just sweating on this hot, bright light right above me. Uh, so I'm gonna do that, and you guys do your thing, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.